Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today I'm going to show you a doohickey. These guys take a look at this baby right here. Any of these guys know what this is? Yeah. This is just a, uh, well, it's a pipe bender. A tube bender. It's uh, not too good for tube, but it's great for bending steel, uh, flat bar, and just, uh, just regular round steel or aluminum. And this here has been well used. The only thing I did different to it is I made this little base on the bottom here so it fits in my vise. I'm gonna show you how this operates today. And it is so well used. You take a look at there, at this joint right here. And yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty well worn out. You know, there's a lot of slack in it, but it does the job. And I showed in the past there about uh, making uh, bungee cords. I'll put a link down below if you want to see how that's, uh, how that's all done. And the little ends. Now, this is just an example here of how easy it is to, uh, you know, to make some tubing, you know, for the tubing for the bungee cords and make your own ends on it. Or if you want to make your own hooks or anything like that, this stuff here is so cheap and you can make yourself a lot of uh, different shapes that you like and do it yourself. I'm a big uh, proponent of doing everything yourself. <sighs> Saves me from going to the store. At least you made it yourself and you feel a lot better about doing it. So here's another example here of just a, uh, it's a regular bend and it's so easy to do. I'll take you down the bench here and I'll show you this rig. And I know I'm not too sure how much stuff even costs. I don't even know what you call this thing. I bought mine many, many, many years ago, and uh, if you can tell by the shape, you could probably figure it out where you buy this kind of stuff. Let's get to it right now. Well, this is the rig right here inside the vise, and you can see I've been welding on this and everything, you know, by putting stuff in here and bending it to a certain angle, sticking in another piece, clamp it, and then weld it. That's also good too. So you can see how it fits in here. Now, originally, they wanted it mounted like this. So it would like go into uh, like a tabletop or something. Well, I wanted it to be portable so I can just stick it in my vise. And that's why I put that piece on the bottom. And it come with all these little uh, fittings here. Now this one here, as you can see, is for a tube goes in there. And it's just flat on this side. And this side, bring you over to here. You can see this, how this fits in here like this. So if you've got like a piece of uh, pipe, you can put it in here. And if it's uh, just flat bar, well, you put it in here like this, and you can put like one of these on like this, and this will give you a, bend, a sharp bend, and you uh, flip it over on the other side, and you can see how this will give you a rounded bend. So I'll show you how this all works, and it came with all these different sizes, and you just gotta, you know, match them up, and figure out which one's for which. So I'll demonstrate here on bending a couple of pieces because I've probably made about 40 bungee cord ends now with all different types of uh, shapes on the end for whatever purpose I need. So let's get to it and I'll show you how this all works. Well I got you pretty well zoomed in there and all you do is you pick out whether you need like a, a flat end and what I'm going to use is this one here because this will fit in. So I just put that in there and just take, for instance, you could you can shape this to whatever size you like. You just put it in here, lock her down. Now, of course, mine is, you know, there's a lot of play in there. You could see the play in that, right? So I gotta actually fix that, but it works fine. I just put this on here like this. And it's just a matter of just put, and it pushes so easy, guys. Like, I mean, it's not hard at all. And I just push it all the way out until it comes back again and just touches like that. And I'll take it out for you here. And there you go right there. It was that easy and it's that simple. So let's go to uh, try a piece and bend it so it's nice and round. Because that one there is roughly a 45. So let's try a piece and uh, bend it completely round. And that's these are the two styles I use for my bungee cords. Well, what we'll do in this case, we'll take this one out. We'll leave this piece on the end here because, 
you know I am using a piece of round stock and I'll take this one out I'll put this one in and put this one in and it is a little on the tight side I don't know if you can actually see it all the way it's going in and everything but yeah you just kinda put it in there till it's snug that's all you have to do is just put it until snug and the leverage on this is so easy you know it, it, it's not hard at all and all I'm doing is just going around like this making it very easy to come all the way back around I'll just undo it here and there you go right there now you don't have to go as far and it wouldn't be so tight in between here but just depends on what you like and uh, what's the reason why you're making that bend so let's get on to a piece of flat stock and I'll show you how easy it is to bend a piece of flat stock well we'll just bend a piece of uh, this is just aluminum but you could use steel or whatever I am going to show you a project that I am coming up in the future for my camp and it involves steel not aluminum but I'll just show you for interest here so you just take these ones off and you'll take this one off too because you're using a piece of flat so you use this one here and this time instead of being at a sharp angle we're gonna have it come like this so we'll bring this back over here I'll put this inside the vise or the bender and just clamp her down and you can tell the distance that you have between here and here you have to pick the right diameter so you can see how this one here is a little bit different from this one and I would pick that one and we'll just take a look at the bend and we'll see how easy it is to bend guys there, there's no problem at all bending that like that and for a lot of times when you're wanting to shape a piece of metal and you want it to be nice guys it's as easy as that and if you take a look at that shape right there yeah that's not hard to do is it so I mean I'm gonna make a lot of these something similar to that and I'm probably going to make 30 of them well, I hope you like that guys I mean it's so easy to make these type of things and guys I can come out here and within no more than 15 minutes make at least 20 to 30 of whatever bends I want like this and I just use this to come off with you know just your regular uh, bolt cutter and it does a great job I take it over to the uh, grinder take all the burrs off wire wheel a little bit and away I go so I hope you enjoyed this today and show you this little bit of a metal bender guys I'm not too sure where you can get this or anything but I imagine like Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight Princess Auto they sell them all over the place they're not really made that great but you know what for the price I paid for it and I've abused this thing putting in way too big a piece of metal that you're supposed to bend but it's taken it so thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, well, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again, guys. Let's have some more fun. Cheers.